when we look at some of the bigger bear traps to avoid within an MDM implementation, you've come to the right place. We're going to talk about four of those in this article. Thanks for checking out our blog. Some high level things to think about. What are some of the bigger bear traps? One, scope. For sure, you need to manage for scope. You need to avoid boiling the ocean. Yes, you may have 100 silos of data, but at the beginning, do you need to break all 100? No, you don't. Probably just break two or three. Another thing, you need to be relentlessly focused on business value. This isn't about domains. This isn't about customer data. If your CFO or your CEO asks you, why are you doing this? The answer should not be, well, because I want to have better customer data. The answer should be is I want to improve our net promoter score, or I want to drive more cross-seller, upseller. I want to drive more revenue. So avoid the temptation to look at MDM through the lens of technology and through the lens of domains. This is about business problems. This is about stakeholder value. Another thing we need to avoid here is don't go this alone. You need stakeholder engagement. You need senior executive support and senior executive buy-in. The best way to do that is by articulating the business value. I just talked about that. Can you articulate the, the, the purpose of this initiative through the lens of business value? And can you actually quantify that? So start simple. Be razor focused on your scope. Have a well-defined business outcome. Avoid the temptation to look at things through the lens of domains or technology. Get your senior executive bought into this program. That's how you're going to increase your odds of success with MDM. Thanks for checking us out.